All right, boys and girls, cats and dogs, mothers and lovers. I took a couple days off. And the only reason I, I took a couple days off was because I was jet lagged. I couldn't catch up on sleep. Now, it sounds corny as shit saying, oh, well, how the hell are you jet lagged? It's only a couple hours difference. Well, number one, I'm afraid of airplanes, okay? I was scared as shit. Every single time that ding came on, I thought the airplane was going down. When actually it was the airplane was landing, okay? That's how bad I am. I have all these horrible nightmares about the way planes and everything are. Oh, God, dude. I wish I, wish I could tell you guys how bad people drive around here. The way people drive around here is such horseshit. Oh, God. All right. So, <clears throat> uh, I'm super tired because I don't get enough sleep hardly ever. And I think it's just because my whole day is wasted with having to do regular adult life shit. So, it's like maybe I just force myself to stay up a little bit later so I could have some time. You guys know what I'm saying. You guys just want some time, all right? When you become an adult... You're like, I just want to have some time. I want to enjoy my life. I'm tired of going to work. I don't have kids or anything. So if I had kids, I would imagine you guys are even double tired of that shit. That's probably even harder. But I don't have kids. Speaking of kids, isn't it so great? Those little bastards are back in school. Oh, free babysitting for all you parents. And, uh... The skate parks and all that are open now. Oh, God, I shouldn't have went this way. I should have went out the back way. Should have gone the back way. What time is it? 9.18? Are we going to do it? Are we going to do it? We're going to go out the back way. I don't even give a shit. We're going out the back way, guys. We're flipping a bitch. We're going out the back way. I can't come out the front way. So, <clears throat> when I go to work in the mornings... I usually go out the back way because it'll take me to the main road, then I'll get to the highway to get home. We have a front way, and the shittiest part about going out the front way is it comes directly on the highway. Now, the highway has Jersey City, it's got Newark, it's got everybody that lives in uh, New Jersey going to work in New York City. And there's one bridge, the George Washington. I told you guys about it. Cost cost $18 to go across that thing. And there's just hundreds and hundreds of cars that are stacked out there. And getting through that traffic is freaking impossible. <clears throat> so instead of me getting grumpy and grouchy and pissed off, I'm just going to ignore all that shit and go the long way. This is probably the only place in America where you'll choose to go the long way. The long way is the short way. Any way in New Jersey or New York is, and you think it's a shortcut, shortcuts don't work. There's no such thing as a goddamn shortcut because everybody's trying to find the fastest way to get to work. And being late here in New Jersey is by far the worst thing you could ever do because you're not allowed to just be a little bit late. You're going to be... You're going to literally be a half an hour to an hour late. There's no such thing as like, Oh, I'm a couple minutes late. No. The reason there isn't a couple minutes is because you already left an hour early just to get to work. Like, I got to leave... Like, literally, you got to leave like 40 minutes early so you can make it to work. And that's just so goddamn crazy because I'm literally going like five miles away it's like seriously five or ten miles away to my job but I gotta connect onto all these highways and I gotta go through all this traffic can you see that can you that's gonna fuck shit up it ain't like I edit anything anyway right all I'm doing is just uh whizzing through my day kind of discussing what's going on and how things are so uh Speaking of uh, whizzing, uh, this year whizzed by. 
And uh, tomorrow is going to be my birthday. Woohoo! I'm going to be 37 years old. God, that's weird just to think in a few years I'm going to be 40 years old. 40. How the hell has time gone by so fast? I remember being 12 years old and wanting to be a teenager. Just to say I made it as a teenager. Oh, I'm an old dude now, man. I'm a teenager. I could remember wanting to be 18 so I could go to a casino. <clears throat> How fucking sad is that? I wanted to be 18 so I could go to bingo with my friend's mom. Oh, that's a sad time. Begging to be 18. Now, I want to be 18 again, man. I would love to go back 18 years ago and be 18 all over again. <clears throat> but you only get to live it once, so you have to enjoy it. And today is as young as I'm ever going to be. I'll never be this age again. I'm only going to be older. So I need to think that way and start enjoying life a little bit more instead of rushing life. And that's the hardest part is you find yourself just wanting this and wanting that and wanting to be this person or wanting to be there. You can never just enjoy where you are. You can't just sit and relax. And I guess that's just human nature. But at the same time, if you settle for something, I don't think you can better yourself. There's always something out there that's better for you and you can always strive to become that. And that's kind of like how I am with BMX. Like, <clears throat> I I can't stay doing the same shit when I'm riding my bike. Like, I got to change the position on how high my seat is. I got to change my handlebars from two-piece to four-piece. I sometimes go pegless. Sometimes I'll be two pegs. Sometimes I'm four pegs. Sometimes I'm metal. Sometimes I'm plastic. Just every time that I change something up, I learn a new trick or I bring back a trick I couldn't do before. So that's kind of the way it is with life. Like, you know, I'm talking about wanting all this age and to be younger and stuff. When realistically, if I want to feel younger, go fucking work out. But you know what I want to say to that? Fuck that. I, I always tell myself, God, it'd be nice to have a six pack. Oh, it'd be nice to have an eight pack. Only way to get that shit is you got to work out. <clears throat> and I'm like lazy as fuck. I hate working out. Every time that I work out, I like overexert myself. The last time I tore my abdomen, like I tore two of them because I would start off by doing 200 sit-ups and then I would end the workout session with 200 and I would do everything else but I'm like obsessed with getting abs and it's like obviously I'm not educated in working out and shit I just thought the more you worked out the bigger you got no you gotta fucking eat healthy do you know how hard it is to eat healthy you can't affording to eat healthy is the hardest part I, number one I can't afford it number two I don't have the time for it and number three I'm one of those people that can't do shit unless I like have somebody that's doing it with me. And I know that sounds like an excuse, but it's, excuse me, it's more of a small town mentality. I guess this whole goddamn thing of me talking and doing all this is going to be about small town because I guess that's what, that's what I grew up being. So <clears throat> with my small town uh, mentality, I've done everything by myself. All right. I've gone my whole life doing everything by myself. Like go for a walk by myself, go bike riding by myself, go fishing by myself. A majority of everything that I did growing up was usually by myself because I was the last of the kids at the house. So I was the youngest. I was the only one there. That's it. So to me, I don't like doing things alone. Same with sleeping. Don't like sleeping alone. Sleeping alone sucks ass. Can't do it. Hate it. Bothers me. <clears throat> yeah, so now I'm on the back roads taking to get to the highway. So if we were to go into a straight line, these last like 
five minutes we were driving, I just now got where I was before. So if we went like eight blocks up that way, where I flipped around to come to where I am now is where I was. But I'm gonna get on the highway and start driving faster now because I'm skipping all the traffic on the highway. So what ends up happening is all that highway's coming this way, I'm gonna skip them by going over the top of them. But the hardest part about going over the top of them is everyone's trying to do it. So we're fighting over this shit. Now, over to the right <clears throat> is the George Washington Bridge. Now, I would show it to you guys, but the police station is to the left, two cops are to the right, and then you have this stupid fucking bus stop shit where people aren't supposed to stop and they just cause traffic jams. It's like, stop up a block away and go walk, you piece of shit. No one likes you. Oh my God. If you guys have never been to New Jersey, New York, or anything, anything inconvenient or any person or anyone that's in your way or you find inconvenient will seriously set you off. You will just get pissed off. You will act like an asshole. That's just the way it is. That's how it happens. Everyone gets pissed at everybody. Everyone's complaining. It's a me, myself, and I race. That's what it's like in a big city. You live in a little city? Like I said, you could leave five minutes before work and you'll get to work on time. You live in a big city? Some of you assholes have to leave an hour early. It sucks, but that's part of life. So, <clears throat> look at this. We skipped all of that traffic. Now I'm on the highway. Now I'm going to work. It took 12 minutes for me to start to drive to get to work. And I've been driving for 12 minutes already. Think about that. Like, it's horrible. And the worst part is, is everybody in the world is on their way to New York City right now. Everybody. If you guys could see this traffic. All right, everybody is stopped right now to drive over a bridge right now. The traffic is still stopped. It's on this side. It's three lane full of trucks, cars, and semis. <clears throat> All right, still backed up. We are literally 10 blocks away from the bridge and it's still piled up with cars waiting to get on the bridge. A semi truck pays $100 to go over that bridge. All right, nine blocks long, full of vehicles. Trucks are like $20 and something. I think they're 32. <clears throat> and then you have like those little smaller tractor trucks. Those are like 40 some bucks. And then the semis are 100. And then every car that goes over it is seriously $18. There's this thing called the Easy Pass. It's supposed to save you money. You save $3. It's 15 bucks to go over that bridge. Kiss my ass. All right, you're not saving me shit. I hate you. It sucks ass. So, <clears throat> if I'm not mistaken, I heard that bridge makes. I think I, I could. This is gonna sound like an astronomical number, but if the traffic's nine blocks back and there's tons of semis in there, I heard that the they make millions of dollars a day off of that bridge. Millions. So, word to the wise, if you guys ever get a chance to buy a road, put a fucking toll on it and charge everybody $20. Because that's what these assholes over here do. So, now we're on the highway. Driving to work. I got 35 minutes to make it on time. I'm going to make it on time. I'm going to be early. I'll be able to <clears throat> upload the video. Do a little bit. Um... I don't know what I'm gonna do for my birthday. Oh, I know what I'm gonna do. Uh, my my sister and my niece are coming to town and they've never been to New York. So we're gonna go to New York City and get lost. And then you're asking, my, you're asking yourself, how the hell are you gonna get lost, Ricky? Well, just because I live by New York City doesn't mean I go to New York City. I've probably been to New York City less than 20 times. I, it's a hassle. 
It's a waste of time. It's a waste of money. It stinks. Uh, you're asking, I ride BMX. It must be fun to ride BMX there. It is fun to ride BMX when you get there. Going back sucks because you could end up doing 200 blocks. Imagine riding your bikes 200 blocks and then having to go back 200 blocks. And then you say, well, why don't you take the subway? Man, fuck the subway. I'll ride the 200 blocks. I <clears throat> crammed in there with your bike, trying to get in there with your bike. It just sucks. I, New York City, so hard for me to do. So, yep, gonna be 37 tomorrow. My sister and my niece will be here. Gonna hang out and do that. Um, <clears throat> going to go and have dinner with my woman. Best part of the day, my woman. I'm in love. And uh, go to work, do the same thing as everybody else. It'll be a normal day. I don't know how many of you guys celebrate your birthdays. Pretty sure. I'll be honest with you. I bet you, I bet you there's a few oldies that are inside here and you guys don't even care about your birthday. I don't care about my birthday, but it would be sad as shit if someone didn't wish me a happy birthday. That's all I would say. But, guys, <clears throat> I'm going to end it here because I've been bullshitting and chatting with you guys too long. It's already like 17-something minutes long. But I appreciate every single one of you guys. Thanks for all the support. Everybody leaving comments. All the comments are very supportive. There's no negativity. Um... I get it. Some people like to do the emoji thing. Eh. <clears throat> I'd prefer to hear your voice than for you to just tap a fucking fire sign. But who am I? And um, thanks for giving, you know, actual, not answers, but actual things when you're writing comments and answering back things inside the videos and actually listening and then to the people that say they enjoy what I have to talk about, that really means a lot to me too because sometimes I just feel like I'm ranting and raving and no clue how I can just do this, just keep talking, talking, talking. Who knows? Maybe that's what I was put on this earth to do, irritate people and make their ears feel like somebody's vomiting in them. But uh, leave some comments, like this, make sure to share it on your stories on Instagram. Uh, I got a special video getting ready for you guys that should be coming out soon. Hint, hint. And uh, have a good one, boys. Yeah!